Hey guys, Coach P. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today's topic of conversation is something we hear about all the time, especially around the holidays or diet. What kind of diet are you on? What are you eating for your diet? Hey, that's not on your diet or I'll start my diet after the holidays. So many excuses. Let's make diets simple. Back in the 80s, when I was competing and training, the word keto never existed. The diet we followed was a high protein diet. High protein food with low complex carbs and good fats is what we use to build muscle and burn fat. If we wanted to build more muscle, we increased the amount of protein that we consume each day. If you're a 200 pound person, male or female, just a 200 pound person, and you want to gain muscle size, you've got to consume more protein. So one gram of protein per pound of body weight will maintain exactly what you are right now, the 200 pounds. You want to add more muscle, so what do you do? You increase the protein. But you increase the protein enough to support proper muscle growth, not excessive weight gain. So you do some math, 1.1 gram, 1.2 grams, 1.3 grams. You times that by your body weight. And let's say that number is 240. And I'm just guessing in my head, I'm not doing the math right now. So you'd have to consume 240 grams of protein a day. Is that in one meal? No, that's throughout the entire day. You break it up into however many meals you're gonna take. If you're taking in eight meals, you break up that 240. So 30 grams of protein per meal. Then you add your complex carb. If it's less than 50 grams, I would take that baked potato and I would take half of that baked potato and that's what I would have at that meal. And the rest of that meal is going to be green vegetables, green beans, broccoli, uh, asparagus, spinach, something of that nature. That would be my meal. And that meal would be broken up eight times. I would have that meal or similar meals like it. The proteins might change. But for me, pretty much the vegetables stay the same. I like to keep variety in my proteins. Eggs, chicken, fish, beef, pork. You pick your poison when it comes to your proteins. I can't tell you that you have to eat this chicken. You might not like chicken. You might be allergic to chicken. If you pick your protein, you want to lose body fat. You cut your complex carbs way down, forcing your body to burn its own body fat for, for its natural, natural energy source. But the biggest key to this entire dieting process is sugar. You have to say no to sugar. No sugar at all no soda fruits to a bare minimum and there's a glycemic index out there that shows fruit with the least amount of sugars in them you don't have any kind of kool-aids or gatorades you have the sugar-free stuff i personally drink homemade iced tea or crystal light beverages that don't have sugar there's a sugar substitute to it and i was when i was a couple of weeks out from the show i would eliminate those sugar substitutes and just drink water or plain iced tea but that's me. But the key to keto dieting, no sugar. So if this is something that interests you, reach out and contact me. Hit the contact button and I will get back to you and we will take this journey together. Remember, I'm your affordable coach and I will tell you the truth about the health and fitness industry and what you have to do to make your game. You guys have a good day.